Good evening everyone. How are you guys doing? Knock down the background sound a bit. There we go. Hello, hello. Let's see. We got 46 viewers so far. Awesome, awesome. Guys, today I am allowed to give you the first sneak peek into Sewer River. Now, note I am on the test server at the moment. Um, so you guys will see that I'm high level, got loads of money, and don't look at that. It's uh, just for testing purposes. It's not real, just pixels. Um, after I've done the sneak peek, I will switch back to the regular game and then we'll do the giveaways. So just so you guys know, we'll do that afterwards. Um, but first up, you guys are all interested in checking out Sura River. So without further ado, let's jump in. Oh, Crossy, thank you so much for subbing. Yeah, thank you so much, Crossy. That's so awesome of you. Here, let me give you a quick pack. And guys, don't forget to... Uh, how do I type your name? Good grief. Is that an L or an I? L. There we go. Thank you, so thank you so much. Oh, is it only 7.20? Let me quickly see if I can fix that. Uh, because, yeah, that's not what we want. Hey, chat. Hello, hello. Let me quickly see if I can fix that. I cannot tell you guys what the level will be. I cannot tell you a whole lot about this new river. Uh, we'll announce it in the future. Um, but for, quickly, let me see if I can tweak the settings here. So you guys can actually see it on uh, uh, other bad waves or um, other outputs as well. I'll quickly check here. And no, I can't give you an uh, ETA. <laughs> Below 49. I can't give you an ETA uh, figure. Uh, thank you all so much for the new followers. Let's see, where is the output settings? Anyone has any idea how to switch from 722 up to 720? Sorry about the delay there, guys. You can already uh, watch. No, 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 level 49 is not the max. There's no level cap. I'm currently, on, on this test account, I'm level 49. Hey there, Tempe. Good evening, Nord. We are trying to set my button wave up my the video output to 720 and below, so folks can actually check. Any guys, have you got an idea on how to do that? As I like folks to watch it in, say, 460 as well, 360, what is it? For 360, 480? Not sure if I can actually change it on my end. Not all at once. Um, if you can't do it, no worries. After the stream, I'm actually taping this, I'm recording it. After the stream, then uh, I'll upload it to my YouTube channel, and then you guys can see it there. Um, okay. In the meantime, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Here we go. Uh, almost daylight. Yeah, I thought so, Crossy, but I'm currently looking at the settings, and 
it's not stating anywhere. Maybe in the, in the video. Oh, you might need to be a Twitch partner. Oh, yeah. I'm not Twitch partner, guys. Not yet. So, uh, yeah. Can't, can't do that. Sorry about it. Yeah, um, but like I said, I will uh, I will be uh, recording this as well, so you guys can uh, can actually see. So four in the morning is what it is. Here we go. This is Sura, guys. I'm here with the map for you lot first. Uh, here we go. Uh, this map, someone was very clever. I already found it. <laughs> we we did a patch. And accidentally had this uh, this map uh, already in the game files, but now here is it for all of you guys to see. Yeah, sometimes Twitch forces you. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, sorry about that, Grimworks. Um, but like I said, I'll do it later on. And Mel, thank you so much for subbing three months in a row. Wow, cheers, love, much appreciated. I'll let the sound play. Hey there, Han. Welcome. Good evening. Ba -ba -ba -na. <laughs> A tiny like included. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think by the time I'm done showing you guys the entire new lake will be an hour later in time. Um, but yeah, so here it is. Here we got our little village and then over here we've got campsite there are a couple of more houses as a big main road and then a road leading up here here we have a uh, small lake and then this is the main river there's an island up here no worries guys i'll take the boat we'll drive you through the entire lake section and welcome all new followers. Thank you so much. I think tonight, if this continues, we're gonna break through the thousand. That would be awesome. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I'll take you guys on the river as well. No worries, we'll, uh, we'll do that shortly. But first, let's have a look at the village itself. And now, finally, we have some better lightning. So, you start up here. Here we got the cafe with the orders. Let's see, are these orders already up? No, they're not. Okay, can't show you guys that. Then over here we have the fish market. Me, I can show you, but we'll do that in a bit. Because I caught some of the new species. Here we've got the workshop. Just pretty regular. Uh, here we go to the store. Spin fishing haven't. Well, not just spin fishing. You can do all fishing here. Um, but the prices are, uh, in my opinion, they're, they're similar to uh, mosquito. As you guys can see here. That shovel is still 38, that one is still the same, I think that one is still the same, that one is the same. So that is for pricing. And then over here, we have our little boat section. Let me actually already purchase, uh, uh, let's grab that one. Is your name in pink, Crucian? <laughs> And here we got the two boats, the same as uh, we got on Volkov. But here we have a little glance. Like I said, I'll take the boat later on and we'll go in both directions. But let's move up here. How are you doing, Crucian? Long time no see, buddy. So if you follow this road, uh, here are several houses. Um, Earlier I managed to walk into the garden, but it seems they fixed that. Uh, over here, there we got the ATM, and then here we got the grocery store. Uh, the prices here are again same as on Mosquito. I believe, I believe on Mosquito it's also 33, on Winding River it's 28 cents for a piece of bread. So, uh, prices are, uh, are alright. <laughs> yeah, this is my test account and we are currently on the test server, Baron. Uh, so that's why you'll see my level's 49 and I got a huge uh, load of money. Um, that's for testing purposes, buddy. I cannot reveal yet when this lake will unlock, or at which level, or 
uh, when the ETA will be. We are still working on it. And then here we got the rods and reels. And just a general tackle store. You guys can see prizes are well within uh, within range. Okay, I think you guys got the gist of that one. And then uh, moving on, over here we got an old truck, and then we got another house, and then here is where you have the administration. That's right there. It's where you purchase your map. And then over here we got the leaderboard. That one's up there. But those are for you the main things that you need to know. Uh, what shall I do first? Shall I walk up to... I uh, will just pass it. Are there any new items? I cannot comment on that one, Sticky. Tonight I can only show you guys. I uh, can't fish. Can't... Uh, at least can't show you guys how to fish. Can't... Uh, reveal any ETA. I cannot uh, reveal any more info than what you guys can see actually. I think that's pretty much it. Here we've got the fish market. And here we go. I've got three new species. I must say I used the test. So just be aware because it's very hard to get a random number. But here we go. Let's actually check first. Starlight. So this is a small sturgeon species. They average between 500 grams and 2 kilograms. Uh, they're pretty cool to uh, to fight. I can tell you guys that. They're pretty uh, pretty decent as a sliced fish. So these are the small versions of sturgeon. I know you guys want to see sturgeon as well, so here we go. Here we got Russian sturgeon. These range from average between 12 to 15 kilogram. So this is actually a very tiny one. They are monsters to fight. This one already gave me quite a heck of a fight. <laughs> Small sturgeon. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Are those worm beads by the leaderboard? Uh, I actually do not know, Tierlin. And, oh, I forgot to show you guys the big at cop. There we go. You got this one. And these go too close to 30 kilograms. Well, the lake isn't out yet. It's it's not out yet, uh, Christian. And um, right now, I cannot give you guys an ETA on when it will be uh, released. We're working hard. Uh, we're in the final stages to um, tweaking, adding, implementing new stuff, then doing all the tests. So that I can uh, I can tell you guys, but I cannot. So uh, right now, cannot give a level or when it's gonna be released. A arrow. Yeah, you can catch uh, fish in this uh, this area, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, this is still from Russian. Yes, that's correct. This is actually part of the uh, Volka River, if I'm correct. This is a sneak peek, indeed. Yeah. Okay. So if we follow the route here, we are actually getting to a very lovely little land-based lake which is here so for you guys that are really into feeder fishing and are into uh, float fishing this is the spot for you guys you'll love it i did some testing earlier today it was nice water at first is a bit clear but then it comes pretty murky and here you'll find all kinds of lily pads and stuff like that along the shores. 
And we've got a bunch of villagers and whatnot. Can I open the map? I mean this one. Sure. We're currently walking beside here. And we'll move to camp. From camp we'll walk back and then I'll take the boat. First we'll do up. And then we'll do down here and go to the island and then finally return. I cannot say guys, I can't say what level it will unlock at. Not yet. I'm not allowed to reveal that yet. Nor am I allowed to show you uh, any of the four species that will be released next to the four that we did already disclose. No, no, no. I'm level 49. I'm currently on a test server. It's not, the level's not, the lake is not going to unlock at level 49, guys. No. It will not. No worries. No worries. Think when we really reveal a uh, level, you guys will be pleased with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the test, uh, test server, buddy. Yes, there's uh, eight new species altogether. That's correct. And we have revealed a big hat cop. We've revealed the uh, rut. We've revealed um, starling. And we've revealed uh, the uh, Russian sturgeon. I can't tell you. Can't tell you, Arababa. Can't tell at which level this lake will unlock. Will be announced officially through forums. Not through uh, through my stream. And then over here we have the campsite. So we got the campfire still. And we got some sheltering over here. Tents, that is going to be an upcoming feature. On a Russian stream, you already saw the Walker Park perch. Ah, good for you, Sticky. Good for you. And then over here, we got part of the river. That will go all the way over there. Uh, no stream at my end. It's uh, it's working good, uh, Anima. No trouble here at my end. Uh, we got some uh, nice couple of nukes and crannies for you guys. You can fish at. Some things we need to work on. That one is looking pretty off. <laughs> yeah, uh, colouring is something that we'll uh, be working on. Yeah, 20 kilogram uh, big at cop <laughs> when you're level 14. Yeah. Gonna be fun, definitely. And to all the new followers, thank you. Uh, welcome to the stream. Much appreciated, guys. No, I cannot arrow. I can't show you the uh, the records. Uh, also, it wouldn't mind because this is the testing server, and um, so everything that's being done here is not in the game. Uh, as in you guys, uh, when you're playing the game, you are playing on a different server. You're not playing on this one. So uh, let's see, let's grab this one. Hey Brandy now. So let's see, where do I want to go first? Uh, this way, I'm gonna do this section first and then we'll come back and we'll do that section. Actually, let me tweak settings a bit here. There. Background and effects. Uh, we cannot reveal that yet. Yes, I can fish here, but I'm currently not allowed. This is a new uh, water body. This is a new water body. 
This is Sura River. Hello, Wilder. Good day, good day. Now I'm currently at full speed. So you guys know, keeping left shift pressed. This is me without shift. This is with shift. And you'll guys notice pretty soon the reason for that. Yeah, this is sightseeing tour only. Indeed, fast. And I would appreciate it if you not swear, buddy. I'm bound to certain rules. And I can't show you guys everything that you would love to see and that I would like to reveal. Alright, Dutch Bear. See you later, buddy. Yeah, guys, this is a new, like... This is the new like. So over there we got some nice nook where you can fish at. Uh, the shops are restocked at random times, uh, Fuga. Let's drop it here for a second. So here you guys will love to do some spinning as well. Next to uh, feed ring. Float fishing can be done here pretty good as well. Gonna be nice. Hey Ryan, I can't reveal that tonight buddy. I uh, can only show you guys new lake. Uh, I'm not even uh, gonna fish. Hey, come on, I'm back up on me. There we go. Uh, I have no idea when the last uh, restocking time was on the... Uh, was it Mosquito? Don't know. Now over there we got a major fallen tree. Hey there, eagle. Oh, cheers, Razor. Much appreciate it. You want to see my cube knot? There you go. Caught a Russian sturgeon on a perch, a big a carp and a sterlet. That's uh, three of the species that will be introduced with this like. Now, for those of you thinking Volkov was big, we have just done this section only. 
They're not even halfway. Ooh, I believe it said, uh, was it? A length of 230 and exceeding 100 kilogram. So that's 220 pounds plus. That's the sturgeon. The sturlet uh, was uh, 60 centimeters and average to 2 kilogram, but the large specimens weigh around 10. And the big head cop, that is one and a half meters and exceeding 30 kilograms. Yeah, and this even wasn't a trophy. Uh, this one was a little one. Yeah, that definitely gives you a good fight. On a 20 kilogram setup too. Yeah, the, those big head cops, they're definitely weird. <laughs> yeah, I caught two in, in real life. It, it's really looking wicked, especially with their eyes being also underneath it. You swore that I said 20 kilogram earlier. No, you didn't hear me uh, hear me correctly, buddy. So here we can go as well. This is a broken dog, and then over there you can do some fishing. But we can also go up here. And then here we got some houses. And if you follow this road, this main road, it will lead you back to town. There's some fields and whatnot. And if we take this road, hey goose, yes, buddy, this is a new like. You can just skirt a hat and then pop up on the other side of it. And this is Sura River. So there we go. And that's the other side. Where you can go. But we'll get to this point later on. Do I personally like the design? Um, yes. I like it. It's a lake that you cannot uh, learn in two days. This lake takes weeks to learn. And I myself, I'm always up for a challenge like that. I don't like to master something in just two minutes or half a day and then be done with it. I like, uh, I myself, I like that I have to invest some time. Definitely. You get bulletproof fasts. <laughs> and guns will never be implemented, so you do not need to worry about bulletproof fasts. I think here, if I'm correct, yes, here we reach the 8 meter deep hole. That's where we are about to come now. It's right here. Uh, right here is where the 
8 meter hole is. This spot. I love to do some trolling over here. Good evening, Step. Uh, we, we're not allowed to reveal that yet, buddy. We'll announce it later through uh, the official channels. No, it's not available now. No, I'm currently on a test server. Now over here we come to yeah, this little side river. That's where we're going to right now. Hey fishy. How you doing buddy? So again, for those of you that are not into spinning or trolling but would like to do feeder fishing, float fishing, you might want to check out this. You'll love it. Uh, at least I think you guys will love it. Now, one of the things that we'll be working on, that we are still working on, is the following. If I move through lily pads, they're actually going through the boat. That's these minor things that we're still working on. And here we come up to the mill, and if you guys watched uh, my previous stream, or if you watched uh, Twitter, Facebook, you'll notice that this we actually released a drawing of this when water mill right here. And you can actually you can go over here, do your fishing, and oh, let me get over here. And then up here, we can do some more fishing. Sura River. Yeah, these are definitely, looks definitely like carp heaven. Now you can't get in the mill. <laughs> I'm afraid, I tried it yesterday, you can't. And there's no symbol that will indicate we ever will in the future. But who knows. This is definitely a lovely stretch to uh, to do your fishing. Lots of reeds and lily pads for fish to hide. And from here, you can also just walk back to town, so you don't need to take the boat. But it is a long walk, so just so you know. No, chat notifications is all right. Keep this. I think currently there's just one other tester who's on the service. And that's it. Got back in the boat. Now, if you guys look at the time, we jumped on the boat early morning, and uh, it's currently already close to 3.30 in the afternoon, and we just covered about half of the river. So, that will give you an inkling as to how big this is if the images uh, don't already. It's also a warning to make sure that you have a boat license that exceeds at least one day. If you decide to do some trolling or fishing or uh, just discover the lake, uh, a one day ticket is not enough. Uh, we might in the future. Uh, I really don't know, Razor. I know the players have indeed suggested to have their own cabins or houses or team houses or uh, trophy rooms, stuff like that. Uh, 
I think we'll, we'll see. It's it's not... Oh yeah, and this is the end of the lake. You can't go any further. <laughs> there we go. So this is the end of what we can reach so far. It's about here. We, we can't go any further. This is it. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. This is the wall. I catch turgeons are spinning. I uh, try it out when the lake uh, gets released, buddy. Well, let's go to this side. Ooh, I'm not allowed to reveal that yet, Razor. We'll, uh, we'll announce it officially. Um, within... No, I I'm not gonna say when. We will announce it officially later on. Oh, I don't mind being a broken record today. I don't mind. I was already excited that they told me, like, eh, you can show it tonight. I was like, what? Awesome. No, it's not snow, actually. It's not snow. It's, uh, I thought so too at first. But it's not, it's just dry sand. It's a sandy, uh, environment. Oh, I'm stuck on the bank. Come on. There we go. Oh, really? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> don't the coffee. Yeah, I don't have time for coffee right now. <laughs> hey, Jorge. Yeah, buddy, this is a new lake. There we go. And I'm so not showing off my driving skills at the moment. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I will, Razor. Uh, next week. Uh, yeah, I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> Can you guys tell? <laughs> Not a boat license. Um, new uh, new videos to my YouTube will, uh, will appear next week, with the exception of this, because I'm recording this as we speak. And after my stream, I'll upload this to my YouTube, so you guys can, uh, can look it back. <laughs> Women drivers. Yeah. Uh, indeed. Indeed, hit that. Uh, how do you say it? Um, prototype of female driving. Hi, Dame von Speller. <laughs> Dame von Speller. Thank you, smileys. Did you Google that, or do you actually know Dutch? I think you do. You, you're a Dutch, right? Or Belgium? <laughs> you saw me driving a farming simulator and said it all. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, you're a Dutch. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, this small section here is actually called Devil's Pit. It's named that way for a reason. Hint, hint. I'm surprised that we're not seeing any crashed boats in this section. I've tried to go to church, I want over there. Couldn't get to it. This is Sura River, smileys. It's the upcoming river. Oh, and uh, you also cannot go to the houses over there. I tried that too. Uh, no luck.
It's all covered. Yes, upcoming river. Sura. This is the lake that we are currently working on. It's in uh Yeah, with the sturgeon. With the sturgeon and Sturlock and Bicca Carp and Rut and four other species. I cannot reveal yet. So here we are. So that was half the river. Just so you guys know. Hello, Pulco. How are you doing? Bonjour. As long as there are no new Russian roaches. Ah, uh, maybe the rot. Rot could be. <laughs> Tiddy. Okay, so we have traveled this section of the river. That's the part that we just did. We went to the mill over here. We had a little look at the houses over there. We followed the path to get over there. And now we'll be doing in this stretch. Uh, yes, they're still perched here. Uh, I hooked this one earlier. Oh, I'm on your uh, channel. Awesome pool cup. Yes, this river is massive. That's true, Cubic. So, uh, at first, the first couple of days you guys be struggling to finding fish. You can still find it. But, um, because the river is so massive, this, this will take you weeks to learn and master it. Yes, I caught a sturgeon. Uh, this is test server. Uh, here I have the sterlet. Uh, let's do sturgeon first. Um, I actually just sat uh, on test server. We, we have a couple of features that we can do so we can specify a fish and amount uh, weight. So I put in four kilograms. Uh, and this is a uh, very tiny because uh, the average sturgeon weighs between 12 and 15 kilograms. The big one that's over 100 kilogram, just so you know. And this one already gave me one heck of a fight. So that is, this is Russian sturgeon. And then we have the sturlock, which is a tiny version of sturgeon. This one goes average between half a kilo and two kilograms. I'll say one pound and, and what is that, five pounds. Uh, large, go over 10 kilograms. Grail, thank you so much for the bit, buddy. Much appreciate it. That is what these little fellas do. I love them. I love them. They got weird noses. Really pointy ones. And then here we have the big hat carp. Now these go over 30 kilograms. And this was a six kilogram that I put on, and he's not even considered to be a trophy. Or anything near a trophy. These are beasts to try and reel them in. They really fight hard. Uh, if the description says 100 kilogram, will they be already in game or later? Um, I'm not entirely sure, smileys. Uh, I know the sturgeons will be uh, most likely bigger than the catfish. Yeah, it's it, it's got. Uh, everything, but also the, the the every big one, but also the tinies. Uh, the, so you just find your common roaches and your crucians and prussians and whatnot. Uh, this is one of those lakes where you can do say everything. You got your trolling, you got your um, regular spin fishing or, or bait casting. Then over here, this is a small lake. You can do your feed fishing and your fixed ball fishing and then here for instance you can do the same. So it's got everything for all. It's not like say Winding River is, is well no Winding River also has this this small sort of inlet where you can uh, can do all kinds of things. But say for instance Cory. Cory's is main focus is uh, spinning or trolling. And um, well, say mosquito is better for spin for a uh, fixed ball fishing and for feed fishing. Yes, a new species will be introduced in. Uh, oh, will they only be introduced on the new lake? Um, no. 
No. Uh, some of them will only be in this lake. That is correct. Um, but there's a few others, like say for instance Rudd, I think you can also find those on other lakes. Let's see, I drifted off a bit. Yes. Where? Ah, it's actually the current. That's taking me. That took me a bit too far. Yes. I'll travel back first. Uh, killer. What do you mean, other fish are this river? That, there are other fish on this river, it's not just the eight species that we will release with this river. There's uh, just the regular species as well that are already in game. So, for those of you guys wondering how the current is running, it's flowing from right to left. So, you know. If the game is currently 35% done, how much will it be with this river? Uh, currently, I think the game is getting close to 40% done, so I'd say 42% with the release of this. There's still so much uh, stuff that we want to uh, want to add to the game. To the core game, I should say. Okay, so now, as I said, we're gonna head that way. First, let's have a quick look there again. Those of you guys that just jumped on, would love to see it. Yeah, I know I need to eat, Razor. I do. Uh, let's park this one over here. And then here we go. So this is, let's see if I can get better, higher advantage. So you guys can actually get a bit better. Ooh, the bloody reeds in front of it. Stand on the tree stump. Yes, there we go. So that is this. Section over here. Carp heaven. The game stays free, anonymous. The game remains free. We are, we are not going down the path of our real. We will put features and new content and stuff like that behind paywalls. We want to provide the world with a fishing game that is free for everyone to uh, to play. What's the bigger kind? Biggest kind of fish? Catfish. Currently, um, when sturgeon pops up, sturgeon. <laughs> you just hope you don't need to chase your monster fish to all, down the whole river. <laughs> yeah. If you're under gear, that will definitely happen, smileys. Okay, let's find a boat back. Uh, I'll leave it, I think, a bit to the left. Yeah, I dropped it over there. Utrecht, thank you for hosting me, buddy. Much appreciated. Oh, yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Can I scoot it over? Oh, no. Let's do that again. Because I managed to do that yesterday. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I do it again? Oh, no. Dang it. Yesterday I could launch myself. By, uh, driving over that piece of wood. Oh well, let's continue. Can large fish pull you around in the boat? Uh, yeah, they can. They can. How many people are working on this game? Ooh, uh, good question. Uh, I believe our team is... But that also goes, uh, that includes the guys that works on work on Russian Fishing Free. I think we, we are 
close to, what was it, 20, 25, 30 in total? Maybe a bit more. So we're, we're what you would call like a, a mediocre uh, business. We're not big, like Blizzard or EA. Um, but we're also not small, like just three or four folks. So here we are currently, we are on this island. And here you can do some awesome trolling. And here, but on this side too, you can... Was it here or was it on the other side? Uh, a bit hard to remember. Yeah, here you can do some lovely, lovely feed fishing and fixed ball fishing. Right there. And then if we walk up a bit, there was another spot where you could do that. Nope. Mind the boat, lady. You think it would be nice if the game become became moddable? I'm not sure if we want to do that, Anonymous. Not sure if we want to do that. And then here we got the other side of the island. Yeah, just here. And we will take the boat and head in that direction. Oh, did I get a thousand followers? I did. Oh, awesome, awesome. Who was the last one that followed? Let me actually check. Oh, oh. oh, at my end it says still 983. <laughs> uh, but I believe it's Trout Gamer. That was the. Last follow. Give me a second. Let me actually refresh, and I can count down who my number thousand was. Thousand and three says so one, two, three. Polko, Polko, buddy, you are my number thousand. Polko, if you um give me your income name, buddy, I'm gonna reward you. Um, once I've hopped back to regular, uh, not, not, I'm currently on the test server, so I can't give you guys anything, but after the sneak peek, we'll move to my main account, and I'll be doing you some, uh, some giveaway stuff. Will the snack get nerfed? You got snacked twice a week. <laughs> Twice a week is nothing, buddy. There are some areas that you'll definitely snack more. Ah, oh, that's okay, uh, Polko. <laughs> Cheers, Anonymous. Ah, oh, the Dutch squirrel, eh? Mm. Yeah, if you, you end up with a snack that you cannot... And recover from, use all that for. Uh, sorry that... I, it's a bit dark, let me actually adjust settings... Was that video... Contrast, I believe? Yes, okay. Here we go, at least you guys can see a bit. Even though it's dark. It does, it doesn't matter, buddy. It doesn't matter. Now, this is Silver Bream. This is a tester, and he's just putting in the numbers and then catches fish. It doesn't matter that it states that he's catching Silver Bream or Chinese Sleeper or White Bream. We're not hiding that stuff from you, uh, buddies. You guys can, uh, can just see it. Uh, yes, we do have a couple of these banks, so make sure you don't crash into it. And we got some driftwood going on here as well. How do you check for updates? 
Uh, we'll always announce it on the forums, we'll announce it on the website, we'll announce it on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google+, and updates run automatically when you launch the server. Uh, when you uh, launch the launcher, sorry. And launch the game, it will uh, do it automatically. So, as you guys can see, some more dead wood. And then over here, if you guys want to do some pike fishing or anything, yeah, this is definitely something that you'd be interested in. Hey, Juxer. One named Crucian needs a little rest. Alright, buddy. See you later. Uh, it means that the regular are out of stock, smileys, uh, they'll appear for silver again once the shop's restock, then uh, then you're good. Alright, Christian, see you later, buddy. Yeah, I got a lot of eyeballs on me tonight, definitely. Showing off Sura. Okay, uh, and here it ends. So now we have reached, uh, let me see, say over here, this section. And we cannot go any further, so note to yourself, whenever you reach those trees, know that you're about to reach the end of where you can go. Uh, will the depths not increase the light slightly at night, because some nights get get really dark. Um, I think not because you got the opportunity to adjust contrast also in the future we'll be adding different light sources, more light sources that will be better for you next to the already existing flashlight and camp light or camping light. Yeah, trees is a fish pot. <laughs> always has been, always will, definitely. Yeah, they definitely like to hang out around here. <laughs> if I don't eat, I will die, and you guys are gonna loot my corpse <laughs> and all the stuff. So that's uh, that's it, guys. That's is Sura. <laughs> Five thousand watt spotlight, uh, perhaps. Oh, here again, those of you guys that love to do feeder fishing and float fishing, these little nooks and crannies are awesome for you to fish at. Great for hatching babies, baby fish. Will the deaths increase uh, so the stocks in some places at certain reels? Um, I cannot say if we we will be doing that track gamer. Um, we we are definitely hearing you guys. We are definitely hearing. We we've watched the uh, forums as well. We know that you guys. Uh, uh, it's a struggle to get certain items, certain things because they're constantly out of stock. Uh, no bears in this game yet, Joxa. There will be in the future. Um, we also know what will be implemented in game in the future, Trap Gamer, uh, like auction houses, trade features, and we, we've already adjusted the restocking times and the, the amount a uh, couple of times. Uh, Stripe Bass, uh, that one will be in the, in the future, I think. We, we want to cover everything. Uh, so, uh, American Lakes as well, and you'll get your peacock bass and largemouth bass, and small bass and striped bass and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that is in the long distance future. Uh, no, not my most, Stevio. My most was 306. It's when I got hosted by a big time streamer. No, you cannot die. 
you can't die. You'll just not be able to uh, fight a big fish, you'll not be able to do any um, shoveling, uh, stuff like that. But you don't die, no worries. <laughs> we, we, we like RPG elements, but not that far. No, but getting back to the restock times, we, we are aware that it's currently an issue among our players and um, uh, all I, I can say personally is that we, we are looking into it and we'll, we'll see if we can do anything about it or if we decide to wait uh, until uh, a new feature gets implemented that will deal with that as well. Will there be event fish on events? Um, I can say that we will have events in the future, but I cannot comment if there will be event fish. Uh, no, no news on uh, possible greenhouses. Yeah, I, I honestly do not know if the developers want to move into that direction of having fantasy fish, so to say, into the game, because the game prides itself on being very realistic. So um, I, I don't know if they want to take it that far by implementing mermaids or even fish or fish with head and fish with a pipe and stuff like that. Okay, so one thing that I like to, to mention as well is um, I know you you high levels already know it, but maybe for, for the lower levels is that fish do migrate. And it basically means that, say, uh, we are doing some fishing here at this spot, and uh, at first the, the activity is high, then after some time it dwindles. Um, what happens is that you sort of fished out a spot uh, or fish has moved actually let me throw down the anchor so we will not move too far uh, let's stand up for a bit here we go so say say we've been fishing here that area over there and after some time you notice that there's uh, almost no more fish uh, what you need to do then is you need to move to a different place, which doesn't mean at the other side of the lake. It could just very easily mean that you got to fish here now instead of a couple of meters to uh, to the right side. Uh, fish migrate, so it's not like we in in other games you'll find hot spots. You know, it's like uh, three to five in the morning, this particular spot, uh, depth sixty centimeters, and you'll be catching um, perch the whole time and then after five it dies down and you'll not be able to catch any perch. In this game it's fish that they, they simply move around. So if you if you notice that you're not catching as much as you expected then move and see if you can find it at some other place. That's what this whole game is about, it's just as in real life I can fish constantly on this spot. And sometimes it might be good, but there might be days that are, it's it's not happening. And you got to uh, to branch out. Also, uh, every week we reset the um, uh, game weekly records, and it can also very well be that what used to be the good spots in this week will not be the good spots next week. So that meaning that you got to move. And um, when you're lure fishing in particular, then you're targeting for predatory fish. So with carp and, and common roaches and all that kind of stuff, you just you throw out your rod, you know, and you'll they swim in the schools. Now if you go after say sturgeon or if you were to go after say pike, they're more soul uh, solo fish. They like to sometimes you'll find them in groups, but 
most of the time not. So you actually have to search for them. That's why lure fishing is a bit harder. You got less fish in uh, in the same amount of time as if you were to use a feeder rod or if you were to say a pool. But just to have that out there for you guys that were wondering about it, because we had lately we also had a lot of questions about fish. Uh, folks that had troubles finding fish and whatnot. It's not that the lake is empty, you cannot empty a lake. Uh, it's not that uh, fish were taken out of the game or anything like that. Simply fish move and sometimes you... Seriously, come on boat. Come on, let me off. <laughs> I can't get off. Uh, okay, we'll drop the boat. Further. You stepped out of the boat and you fell into it. Okay, let's move that one. Yeah, I know, women driving. <laughs> Oh, can I park it in there? Yes! Get off the boat, please. Thank you! There we go. Want me to jump that log again? <laughs> okay. So, for those of you guys that just joined, good evening, welcome. We've been doing a tour around uh, Sura River. It's the upcoming river. I cannot disclose to you guys yet which level it will unlock. I also cannot disclose to you guys yet when this game, uh, when this lake will, uh, river actually will arrive um, in game. We will announce that all through our official social media and through our website and through our forums. Uh, but, so we, first we, we had a walk through town, then we went up river then we came back here, we got a water mill, we came back and we went here, we discovered the island, we went back again and we glanced over here at the uh, little inlet lake. Uh, final time we'll just do a quick glance again here at the village. So here we got the fish market, there you go, let me actually get it all and sell, there done that. Over here you'll find the workshop, and then when you start out at Sura you will actually be standing right here. There's the cafe with the orders, here you got the ATM, next to it you got the grocery shop, then walk a bit further you got the tackle store, and then for even further and then here with the colored tires you got administration. And over there, you have the leaderboard or table of records. So here you guys go. This is uh, what it will be 